Okay, I'm Jim Lyons. I'm a civil engineer with NRCS and we're here at the George H. Nichols Dam Rehabilitation Project in Westboro, Massachusetts. And the work that's going on currently is we are placing articulated concrete blocks, which are right behind me. The articulated concrete blocks are to line the new auxiliary spillway. The auxiliary spillway under a significant storm event had the potential to erode. So what we're doing here is constructing a new auxiliary spillway with, lined with concrete blocks that will allow the water to flow over it in a non-erosive environment. The purpose of the dam that we're on as is both for flood control to protect the downstream communities as well as there are recreational benefits. There's a prime fishing habitat behind us that a lot of the local residents use. There's also walking trails on top of the dam structure and that connect to local trails in the community. And it's a wildlife area. There's a lot of waterfowl that move through the area as well as the fish and other animals that inhabit this area. The community of Westboro is located in the southeast part of Worcester County. It's a bedroom community for Boston and it's primarily a residential community. Uh, the watershed surrounding the dam area has been developed more in the past. There used to be a significant number of farms in the area. It's been transitioned to more of a residential community. And the same is true for downstream of this dam. This dam will flow downstream about five miles until it connects or discharges into the impoundment area for the Tyler Dam, another NRCS designed water control structure. My name is Larry Boudiette and I'm an NRCS retired engineer and it's very uh, exciting and interesting to come back here and watch the installation um, and, and the restabilization of the auxiliary spillway here. Um, this particular job is sort of near and dear to me. I was a college intern back in 1969. It was the first job I ever had. The watershed was very rural and undeveloped and over time because of the development in the watershed, these kind of repairs uh, were needed to assure that the dam can still function as designed and that they'll be, uh, that they'll be stable. So things have changed since 1969-1970 when we first came out here and worked on this dam. And it was first constructed back in 1970 and it was done for uh, flood control and fisheries and wildlife. And since that time, the impoundment, which is 310 acres, has been used for, by the town for ice skating, uh, a hockey program, ice fishermen, boaters. It's been used for uh, water supply. The particular dam has really become part of the, part of the community. So the town is, is really tied into this project um, and, and very concerned that it be able to function as designed and that it be brought up to current standards so that it will last another 50 years or more and, and provide the uh, intended flood protection downstream. 